The Navajo Nation covers over 27,000 square miles. The vast open space offers a variety of experiences and includes the Navajo Nation parks and recreational areas. The visitor will experience the beauty, the blue sky, spectacular sunsets, mountains, lakes, forests, fishing, rodeos, anthropological and geological wonders and history. Most of all remember that many of the places you will see are sacred to the Navajo people. The Navajo inhabit the Colorado Plateau where oceans, lakes, rivers, and streams receded from the area. As you journey through the Navajo parks, you will see the remnants of erosion, flash floods, volcanic plugs or necks, canyons, and sand dunes. Beginning in Window Rock, the Tribal Park is a place of reflection, solitude, and a time to honor and recognize those code talkers that served in the 5th Marine Division. Their significant contribution between 1942 and 1945 reduced the casualties and helped to win World War II. Carefully and deliberately designed, the park reflects the spiritual, and cultural influence of the Diné and tells the story of the Navajo Code Talkers. A picnic at Window Rock Memorial Park can be the highlight for veterans, visitors, and families. Nearby is the Navajo Nation Museum. Visiting the museum will introduce the visitor to the Navajo, the recorded culture, the history, famous artists and up-and-coming artists, and art that tells the story of the Diné. The bookstore is filled with books, art, weavings, and so much more. The Navajo Nation Zoo and Botanical Garden offers special events, educational programs for schools, and great experiences for children. St. Michael Indian Mission was established in 1898. The museum provides a history of the Catholic school and the influence on the Navajo people. Plan to spend a day or more in Window Rock. There is so much to see and do. Planning a fishing trip, a refreshing time or picnic? Then visit Bull Canyon Recreational Area located in the Chuska Mountains. Travel to Crystal and turn south. The road is gravel, however it's well maintained. The lake is pristine, picnic tables, camping sites, hiking trails, kayaking, canoeing, and the trout fishing is great. Camp Asaya is one of the major attractions. The camp will accommodate large groups and those that are involved in scouting, hiking, and those that want an outdoor experience. The camp, depending on weather, is open from April until October. Cabins, outdoor equipment, showers, and restrooms are available. Bowl Canyon is the perfect place to relax and enjoy the great outdoors of the Chuska Mountains. Canyon de Chelly National Monument, where the history of the ancient people and Navajo is documented at the Visitor Center Museum. Permits, tours, and information is available too. Canyon de Chelly is spiritually relevant to the Navajo people. When entering the canyon, respect those that continue to live here. The canyon was once home of the Anasazi and cave dwellers and where Kit Carson captured the Navajo to take them to Bosque Riodondo. The 800-foot monolith of Spider Rock represents the spiritual foundation and influence of Spider Woman, 
The traditions of Spider Woman have been passed down to the Navajo people for generations. Enjoy the serenity of the tours as you travel through the refreshing cool trees. Study the petroglyphs. The mysteries of the rock art and their significance are fascinating and interesting. Some were etched by the Anasazi and some by the Navajo. Canyon de Chez is an intimate and peaceful place where the Navajo people continue to farm and visit. During the fall, the autumn colors are spectacular. Spring, when the snow is melting, creates memories that will last a lifetime. Any time in Canyon de Chez is the time to visit. Planning your trip? Great hotel accommodations and Jeep tours, horseback riding, camping, and hiking adventures abound. Allow several hours to tour the north and south rims. To capture the essence of Canyon de Chez, a day or more is needed. Information on ranger-led programs and activities can be obtained at the ranger station. The Colorado Plateau covers approximately 140,000 square miles, and many of the geological formations can be seen as you travel to the Four Corners National Monument. The Colorado Plateau, once covered by seas, that left its image on the landscape, creating formations that are distinct and often sacred to the Navajo people. One of the most famous formations is Shiprock. The volcanic explosive eruption occurred 30 million years ago and has left the neck that the Navajo call the winged rock. And early explorers saw the image of a ship sail, thereby naming it Shiprock. What has been left of that volcano is an eroded volcanic neck. A survey taken in 1912 established the boundaries of Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado, and is referred to as Four Corners. Today, the Navajo Nation Parks and Recreation manages the site. Take a few minutes to see the formations that surround the Four Corners National Monument and the images that change colors during the day. People come from all over the world to have their picture taken while standing or sitting in the Four Corners. Each state is represented by its own section and you will find vendors that sell their art and craft too. Monument Valley is part of the sprawling Colorado Plateau. Nearby is the San Juan River that flows into the Colorado River. A very special and sacred place is Monument Valley. The Navajo translation for Monument Valley is Valley of the Rocks. It also could be called Valley of Sand Dunes. Derived from iron oxide, the weathered siltstone is the basis for the red colors in the formations. It was made famous in 1938 by the Western movie Stagecoach, which was directed by John Ford and starred actor John Wayne. Long before the tourists came to Monument Valley, the Anasazi lived in pit houses and cave dwellings. The Navajo have lived in the harsh environment for hundreds of years. Bitter cold, deep snows, blinding dust storms, and violent rainstorms have formed the resilience and the strength of the Diné. Self-guided tours are permitted. Guides are required for off-road and backcountry tours. Hiking, horseback rides, jeep tours, and camping is available. Early morning or late evening is a great time to get the best photos. The full moon tour is available each month. The shadows and colors are spectacular an opportunity to capture the formations at night or in the late evening makes this tour a once-in-a-lifetime event. We see the mittens, the totem pole, and the yebeche, but to the Navajo, these are sacred and have special meaning. They were introduced to silversmithing and sheep by the Spaniards. American explorers and traders established trading posts 
by the Goldings and the Wethrills. The people of Monument Valley cherish their culture, history, and traditions while embracing modern technology, establishing economic development associations, building the View Hotel with a restaurant, trading post, and museum. The museum hosts a treasure of the Navajo people and Monument Valley. The Welcome Center is designed to welcome the visitor while encouraging the trade of Navajo art and crafts and Monument Valley tours. You will experience real Navajo hospitality at Monument Valley. The Monument Valley Annual Balloon Rally draws worldwide fans too. Respect the people and their land and you will have a visit that you will value forever. Plan to spend a day or two at Monument Valley. There is so much to see and do on the Navajo Reservation. Traveling to the southwestern area, Grand Falls, also known as Chocolate Falls, is well worth a stop, especially after a rain or snow melt. Note, these are easier directions than those posted on websites. Exit 211 east of Flagstaff. Travel north on 510 to 505. Turn right and travel several miles past a cattle guard and you will be on the Navajo Reservation. Turn left, travel approximately 10 miles. The Little Colorado is a muddy river and why Grand Falls is also known as Chocolate Falls. Photography, hiking, and picnic tables are available. This is a rustic place and there are no facilities available. If you want a quiet place, great scenery, a memorable place to visit, then Grand Falls is the place for you. The Little Colorado River Gorge is located just west of Cameron, Arizona. The Little Colorado is a muddy river and here you will see the steep, narrow, deep gorge and the gray limestone formations. If you look carefully, you will get a glimpse of desert varnish that has darkened the stone on the formations. Hiking trails attract visitors as they trek to Grand Canyon. Difficult roads and challenging hikes provide high adventure. Permits and trail information can be obtained at the Navajo Nation Parks and Recreation Office. Located on the far western Navajo Nation is Majestic Marble Canyon and the Navajo Bridge that crosses over the Colorado River. Pleasure seekers enjoy excellent trout fishing, calm waters, photographers are captivated by the scenery, and a short drive to the historic Lee's Ferry won't disappoint. Alternate routes are suggested as Highway 89 could be closed due to construction. Antelope Canyon and Lake Powell is one of the unique places to visit in the United States and is located on the Navajo Reservation. Pronghorn antelope roamed the area. As the area became more settled, they left for a more desirable habitat. The first slot canyon was discovered in 1931 by a little Navajo girl. Today, her daughter and grandson provide guided tours. The name for the upper antelope canyon is where water runs through rocks and the lower canyon is known as spiral rock. The local Navajo refer to the antelope slot canyons as cathedrals, the most sacred of places. The blue sky, crystal clear water of Lake Powell and slot canyons that were formed by the Navajo sandstone. Wind and water attract boaters, hikers, and photographers. Often we think of slot canyons in Utah, but Antelope Canyon area has many places to explore and enjoy. There are several Antelope Canyon tour companies that know the history, the geology, and the people of the canyon. Several companies specialize in video and photography tours too. 
Some have specific slot canyons in which they are permitted to take visitors. For an experience that is refreshing, peaceful, and spectacular, then Waterholes Canyon is just the place to explore. You will be able to spend as much quality time as desired. Waterholes Canyon and Rainbow Bridge require permits and can be obtained at the Navajo Nation Parks and Recreation in the Lachie Chapter area. Permits are available online as well. Just remember, the Slot Canyons are sacred sites. Preserving the beauty, history, culture, and traditions of the Navajo people is important. The Slot Canyons have interesting names like Sheep Canyon and Owl Canyon. Each was named because of the wild creatures that have inhabited the canyon. Helicopter tours are available to Tower Butte. The panoramic view from the top provides the photographer a glimpse of the scenic beauty that is truly Navajo country. Antelope Point Marina is an architectural delight inspired by the traditional Hogan the east-facing floating marina village features an open-air floating restaurant, seasonal water competition sports, a visitor center, boat slips and parking, and so much more. Antelope Point Marina attracts thousands of visitors that want resort amenities, historical and geological experiences. The crystal clear water is pristine and refreshing Tours are available to a variety of locations on Lake Powell. Information can be obtained at the Antelope Point Marina. There's always something happening at the Antelope Point Marina. Antelope Canyon and Lake Powell provide the visitor with an incredible event. There is always something to see and enjoy at the Navajo Nation Parks and Recreation Areas. There's the Window Rock Veterans Memorial Park in Window Rock. The Cool Retreat at Bull Canyon. The Four Corners National Monument. Monument Valley. Grand Falls. Antelope Canyon and Marina. Fourth of July celebration and PRC Rodeo attracts rodeo fans and professionals. The Navajo Nation Fair features hot air balloons, rodeos, dances, entertainers make each a special occasion. It's a wow event. There's even more. Planning your trip to Navajo country? Events are posted on the Navajo Nation Parks and Recreation website at www.navajonationparksandrecreation. The mission of Navajo Nation Parks and Recreation is to preserve, protect, and manage tribal parks. <music>